Hey guys, just a guy here with another episode of Sevtech. Today we're gonna to be continuing where we left off with the um, saw table saw thing over here. Uh, we need to make the water wheel. Um, you can actually make a windmill too, but that requires much more hemp, and hemp's a pain. Um, each wind sail, the windmill takes hemp cloth. Several of them. Each hemp cloth takes nine pieces of hemp. You only get three pieces of hemp fiber per hemp plant. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I have like 12 of them are growing over there, but it's still a pain, even with if I do the dance and everything. And then you got to also come over here and put the hemp in there and then crank this several times, obviously. And then you get three pieces of string or whatever hemp string out. It won't work on that one. It has to be this one or the more advanced machine and then you take six of these to make one hemp rope I have an axle and a water wheel already in my inventory because I accidentally had a mistake while recording my mic wasn't plugged in so I'm remaking some of these I don't know if I'll ever use two water wheels but I still want to show you guys so the big thing you need to make is obviously the axle um, we'll just go from here Takes a black quartz, which you have to get from the beneath dimension, which is a pain. Um, it's usually in the lower levels of the beneath dimension, so that's the thing. But it takes two hemp's each. You're gonna need quite a few of these and make as many as you feel comfortable with. Usually, it's the hemp holding you back. Um, and then for the uh, not the vertical windmill, water mill. Oops. Water wheel is uh, these wooden blades, which is just slabs and a piece of uh, slime or glue or blood balls. Um, you can get blood by melting rotten flesh in the smelter melter over here. And you need eight of them. I'm not going to make more because I don't want two water wheels. Um, but I'll show you what it's like. Let's see. Okay. You do need a copper gear, which is obviously. We did like the last episode, you have to go all the way from wood to stone, I think to tin to copper. And then you can make a gearbox. Um, you don't need them, but they take these thin slabs. And this lets you um, power more than one thing. It says it can, uh, windmill can overpower and break it. I have never had the water wheel break it, so... The gearbox lets you have multiple machines hooked up to one thing or change directions or like if you want to make a joint. Um, so we'll get a shovel. Now we don't have access to a water bucket yet. In fact, we won't have one until we can make a turntable, which also runs off of this thing to uh, place water. We have ability to like, you know, get water for crafting, but not anything else. So we got to make our own little waterway. Um, Infinite water stops at where the river biome ends, and you can get flowing water from there. Hello, water. Oh, yeah, that's my little tunnel into my base. Okay. Now, it needs to be quite deep. As you can see, though, it's not quite working out the way we want it. So we're gonna kind of mess this up. I guess we can use an aqueduct too, but this should work right here. So let's see, one, two, three, and one, two. No, that's not gonna cut it. Hello, zombie. Let's find another spot. Could be a little further. Oh, that's so loud. This one's getting pretty good. I don't know how I can repair it, though. I, I think I need these special crystally things that I don't know. All right. Take two.
Okay, so we need five good blocks of it moving. All right. And then from there, you just place your axle. It needs to be one, two, I guess, three up, I think. I think it's three by three by three. And then where you put the wheel right on your first axle. There we go. As you can see, it's quite big, but it needs basically the square you put in and three out in pretty much all directions. And it needs to at least touch the water that's flowing. You can also have water pouring over the top, flowing down. Fortunately, this does mean my little sauna table is going to be way over here. And we also want to go run in real quick. We don't rush seeds. More wolf pants. There we go. Let's just hit the merge with nearby chest. Get rid of junk. We might need some, but whatever. Okay, what was I? Hopper. And let's get a regular chest. Get four of them, why not? All right. Now, I don't know if one hopper is enough. I think I last time I had to put it all around it because they can shoot off in all directions. Now oh, it works even without a thing. So, put that there. Put the hopper in front of it. It won't catch necessarily all of it, but it should help. Oops. And this is still just the crappy wooden hoppers. I don't think I have access to any metal ones yet. And then we just need to make an axle connect into this. And as you can see, it's on. Unfortunately, I think I need a... I don't know if I can make a lever. I don't have any stone. Can I even have a lever, though? So now that's how you can turn it off so it doesn't make noise. No, I do not have access to a lever yet. So this will always be on unless you break a block or something. But now if you place... Get rid of the wood, huh? Well, anyways... You put something like these slabs in front of it. It cuts them. And obviously slabs, I guess, turn into sticks. You don't get the little half slabs. Or the thin slabs, as they call them. But you will. Where did my mulberry go? So this is what we're going to use, the little handy dandy thing. Mulberry wood. Push Y. Here we go. I had more than 15, but oh well. Well, Y by default, just whatever your search is function. Now we do this. And as you see, some shut off to the side. Now, I remember my last playthrough, I had something that did this automatically. I swear. I don't know if it's a block place or something I just don't have access to. But quite a bit of it got in here. You get sawdust as a byproduct, which is good for um, a couple things. Makes potash, which I think is used in a couple things. But obviously it's also really good for this, which is, I can't remember what it is, but something you need a lot of it in the next stage. But obviously we get our bark. And we can leave this rest of junk here. And take the bark to our underground watery grave. 
Uh, do we need resin or anything? We got our little basin down here. Yeah, it doesn't take any resin or anything like the other ones. Okay, that's good. And we just put it in here. We have empty hand that we never have in this mod pack because we have so much junk. And you just spin it like three times. And obviously you can make uh something like four three batches out of this before you have to get more water. I don't currently have a bucket or anything on me though. I haven't played in so long I don't even know where my bucket is. Ah, here we go, the fluid container. And obviously I have a water thing here. All aqueducts so it refills. Come on. And then of course we have this handy dandy drying system. I mostly use it for leather. But I can put all this wet soaking area bark on a drying rack for two minutes. And this one will automatically put it on these and it'll automatically take them out when they're done. And we can make more. Yeah, you just need a drying rack leading into I mean a hopper leading into the drying rack and one beneath it and it'll take care of all your effort there. It does take quite a while, it's two minutes. I swear in some mod packs it's or data packs it's faster. And by the way, those noises that drive you crazy. That hunting dimension door. Huh. I guess you can't make it with only three. It's interesting. I didn't know that. But, uh, yeah, so after we get that, we get the mulberry pulp. And he takes four of those to make one mulberry sheet. And then you gotta put it in a horse press to get a wash hoshi or washi or whatever. And that is good for a couple things, but the main one we need is the parchment with the aquamarine to get out of stage one because that should be. Uh, oh, I do need to make a gearbox, huh? Then I can also make a turntable and get the bucket. I don't remember it being. Can I scroll over? There we go. So the bucket's actually the end of it, not the paper. Or is this. No, that's just extra. This one's the one you do. Yes, yeah, so something to write on. So the paper, my book, and then the freaking starlight. Luminous crafting stuff. And gosh, do I hate that. Still not dry. Soaked pulp. Yeah, it's supposed to take two minutes. I swear I've been in there for a long time. Alright guys, I gotta admit that was not fast. Um even with four of these things, you know, going automatically. To go out, I didn't necessarily need that many, but while I was waiting, I decided to just make more. But yeah, it's two minutes each, so... Unless you have a lot of, uh... Drying racks going. That's going to be, you know... Somewhere between four and eight minutes, depending, to get four of these things. And my cow is on strike again. Oh, I gotta make. Okay, yeah, this is my fault. My bad. Yeah, I probably did a jump cut there. I made a huge mistake. I forgot to make this into the sheet. I kept thinking I was something wrong with this. And of course, I can't get up there. I wish I could make the pulp into. There we go. Such a thing. I was like, why is my cow not working? But it was my fault. Sorry, cow. Sorry I blamed you. Of course, he's going to make two circles, and you can't have more cows or anything on there. It won't work. We need four of them. There we go. Let's 
a two just in case. One more. Come on, Betsy, you can do it. Hey, that was like, what, 44 parchments and I only got a, like 11 of these things? All right. So I believe it's one of these and then surrounding it. We got one parchment, guys. And we can do... Oh, well, luckily I have more aquamarines. Plant cloths. Do I have enough plant fiber? It's getting really tired of. Oops. Like smashing up. Take. Just take it all. There we go. Oh, that's gotta be the twine. Can't remember. There we go. Gotta remember the recipe. There we go. And let's get our other aquamarine that I again forgot where it was. Uh, we have one extra. That's good. Because, yeah, aquamarines were the ones on the top of the beneath dimension. Hard to find more. So, where is my parchment? There we go. Use. Almost there. And of course the Astral Tomb is confusing. Mouse wheel to zoom in. Ancient shrines, resonating wards, ores, marble, yeah. Crafting table is the basic thing. It's gotta be the sky access and all that. We'll look in the next episode. But we are fairly close. Oh, I had to make a luminous crafting table. Okay, yes, a bit. I thought for some reason that was here too. But yeah, guys, so we got our little saw. We got our little crafting table. We are, well, we got our book. But yeah, guys, this will be just the guy signing off. A lot of derping going on, a lot of mistakes, but hey, we got it. Catch you guys later. Bye.